week 15 of AMPT. Uh, what we want you to do is you see the number at the bottom of the screen. Hey, get your parents to text that number and tell us your name and your address. We have some really cool things. We want to send you in the week uh, or send you in the mail each week that we do AMPT. Oh, the staff, they're going to go to lunch. I want to go to lunch with the staff. What are you doing for lunch? Wait, okay, sorry. I'm not supposed to be talking about lunch. I'm supposed to be telling you about AMP. Okay, so invite some of your friends to check out AMP online and get them to text that number too because like they'll get supplies for you to do the games and the crafts that we have for AMP. This week, our theme, there's the cutest little squirrel outside. Do you know that yesterday I found a mouse upstairs in the trash can in our office? He had been eating some almonds in my office and it was nasty. And uh, so now there's a little squirrel outside. He's so cute. And he's running. Oh, sorry. I guess you need me to pay attention. Actually, that's what we're talking about this week, paying attention to things that are important. So one of the things we want you to pay attention to is are you wearing face masks in public? And uh, when you're out and apart from your family, if you're playing with your friends, it's really a good idea to be keeping your face mask on. But there are some other things that you should focus on today too. So I want you to stay tuned and check out this week's version of AMP. Let's go to bed. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. I can assist the film, eh? Well, we already started. <laughs> I kind of want your drink right now. It went in my mouth. Peter, it's so good to see you again. How you, how you been, man? Oh, it's awesome. Hey, Cornelius, thanks so much for inviting me to this call and to meet your friends. I'm so excited. Yeah, me too. Me too. I know that you know a lot about Jesus, uh, and we would love to hear about that. But first, let's eat because we all came here for dinner. Yeah, that sounds great. Oh, I am hungry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Peter, Peter, Peter. That is, I don't think that's what you think it is. I think that's an that's onion. A, no, this is an apple. Mm. Cornelius, apple. I got no. it right off the bin at the produce place. It said apple. Oh, okay? well, I don't, I don't think you should, uh, oh. Listen, I, I, I pretty much know about fruit, okay? I don't even think that's a fruit. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. My apple's not quite ripe yet, but otherwise it's delicious. Oh. Mm. Um, so, uh. Lindsay, I don't, I don't really know what you're having going on over there, but it doesn't look quite that good. It's um carrot, sweet potato, and pea flavored baby food. Uh, you know, it was recommended by all the babies everywhere, and I thought I'd give it a try. It's, it's really, really good. It's delicious. Blaine, what happened to you? All right, well, so I was thinking I could bring something for dessert, okay? But I realized I don't know how to work the oven very well, and I don't know how to work a mixer or whatever this little thing is. So I had a fight with the flour, and it didn't work out too well, and my brownies turned out rock hard. So what I brought didn't really work, but you can have some flour, and look, looky there, it's in my hair. You can have some of that too, but wait. I ordered Uber Eats. Oh. oh, we should have done that. That would have been so much easier than making our own food. Oh, why didn't we think about Uber Eats? See, you got to think ahead because if you know you can't do it, you just got to prepare. So I got one of those brand new refreshers and a nice old biscuit. So I'm driving over here, actually. Wow. Well, <laughs> since we're eating now, uh, I think, Peter, you should start telling us about Jesus. He seems like a pretty cool dude. Oh, I'd love to. I think I think my apple's just getting me a little emotional. Understandable. Hananiah, excuse me. I'm going to talk about Jesus. Do I have to slurp? Sorry. Okay. 
Thank you. Okay, so guys, listen. Jesus was the coolest ever. He was God's son, and God sent him here, and he died on the cross, but then he came back to life, and he came back to save us from our sins. It's the most amazing story ever, and I love to share the story of Jesus anywhere I can. He, he did the coolest things. Wow. Peter, that's amazing. We, we still have food in our bowls and in our plates, so... Could you, could you tell us a little bit more about this Jesus guy? Yeah, I would love to. Hey, Lane, do you think you could like order me some Uber Eats maybe? Cause yeah, just, I just think my apple's not quite, quite ready to eat. All right, right, so I'd love to tell you more about Jesus. Okay, cool. excited about the weekly challenge that you're going to get this week but before that we have this really fun craft that we want you to do so this week in the mail you receive some supplies to make a kaleidoscope you got some construction paper and some beads now what we want you to do is after I tell you what these next things are you need to pause your screen go get these tools and come back and Molly is going to teach you how to make your very own kaleidoscope. Here's what you need to come up with. Go find a paper towel holder, like the cardboard thing that goes inside the paper towels. You need some glue. You need aluminum foil. And then anything else you want to decorate your kaleidoscope with. We want to thank DarcyandBrian.com for this idea that we got. Now pause your screen and go get those supplies. Hey guys, I miss y'all so, so much, and I hope you guys are doing well and staying healthy and safe. Now, today we're going to be making a kaleidoscope. So, what you're going to need is a paper towel tube, a piece of construction paper, some beads of your liking, and then you're going to have to find, you're going to have to do a scavenger hunt. You're going to have to find some just two pieces of just scrap plastic lying around. Now, what I did for this is I cut the bottom of a water bottle off. So you're gonna have to do this craft with your parents. So make sure your parents are watching right now. And then this is from a Pringles can. And then you're gonna need some aluminum foil. And then preferably a hot glue gun. I don't have one. So I'll be using a glue stick. And then scissors, of course. And then I'm using washi tape to decorate it. You can use anything you'd like. So what you're going to do first is you're going to take your construction paper and your paper towel tube. And you're going to glue the construction paper and roll up the paper on the tube. Alright, so after you've rolled your paper on your paper towel tube, you're going to glue one of your pieces of plastic to the end. And you're going to let it dry. Preferably hot glue. I didn't have that, so I had to use tacky glue. But get your parent or guardian or whoever to help you. When you're cutting your plastic, make sure you have a parent help you, okay? You don't want any fingers gone. Then once it dries, you're gonna take your beads and you're going to pour them in. There we go. So now, they're in the very bottom. Now you're gonna take one of your other pieces of plastic and try to push it down in the tube and then lay it. Your mic, you have to get something to push it down there and get it so that it's resting right on top of the beads. All right, now once you get your other piece of plastic down there, you're going to Take your last piece of plastic, so you're going to need three pieces total, and you're going to glue it to the top. Now while you wait for the top piece of plastic to dry, you can take whatever you want to decorate it. You can use tape, you can use markers, stickers, whatever your heart desires, and you're going to decorate your kaleidoscope. Alrighty, and then once you're finished decorating, you can look through the top, hold it up to some light, and twist. Got an awesome kaleidoscope. Have fun crafting. 
Hi, my name is Micah and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make chocolate chip pancakes. The ingredients you'll be needing are Bisquick shake and pour, a cup and a half of water, the chocolate chips that were sent to you in your mailer, and a little bit of butter for your pan. The tools you're going to need are a pan or a skillet, and a spatula. The first thing you'll be needing to do is heating up your pan. I'm going to preheat mine to about 350. While your pan is heating up, take your shake and pour mix and your water and combine them. Make sure not to spill. Once poured together, shake it vigorously. Vigorously is too big of a word for little kids. Once your pan is completely covered in butter, take your shake and pour and pour little circles about the size of your palm onto your pan. And then wait for your pancakes to get a little bit bubbly on top and your chocolate chips. Once you've poured your pancakes onto your skillet, take your chocolate chips, open them up, and drop them onto your pancakes. Once you start seeing little bubbles in the top of your pancakes, you'll know it's time to flip them. So take your spatula, slide it under your pancake, pick it up, and turn it over. Once you've flipped your pancakes, wait about 45 seconds and take them off heat. Put them onto a plate. Hey guys! Have you guys been doing a lot of video calls recently, or is it just me? I mean, maybe you've had school through video call or you've had to call your friends and family that don't live with you because it's not safe enough to see them in person yet. Well, earlier you saw a Bible story where Peter and Cornelius and his friends were meeting through video call. Now, of course that didn't really happen in real life. I mean, computers weren't even invented back then. But what did happen was they met in person and had dinner together. Peter went over to Cornelius' house to tell Cornelius and all of his friends about Jesus. Because you see, before Peter went over to Cornelius' house, Cornelius and his friends didn't believe in Jesus. They just didn't. And Peter really wanted to try and convince them and tell them that Jesus is real. And guess what? After the dinner, Cornelius and his friends did believe in Jesus. They even wanted to get baptized. Isn't that crazy? You know, Jesus brings people together. And knowing Jesus can change the way that you see other people. I mean, Peter and Cornelius became friends after that. Isn't that crazy? You guys are really trying to, oh my goodness. Why didn't anybody tell me I have baby food all over my face? Thanks a lot, guys. Well, I better go get cleaned up before anyone sees me. <sighs> but you guys really should try this baby food because it's delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Bible story. We'll see you next week. Now, it is time for the weekly challenge. What we want you to do is we want a picture or a video of you eating the nastiest stuff you can come up with. But you have to make it. Like you have to make some kind of concoction. So what I have done and the, the nastiest thing you can eat, whoever sends in that video or picture of the nastiest thing and you tell us what you make, um, you win this week's prize. So what I'm going to put together that I think is going to help me win, first I have some banana and I'm going to cut it up into some little pieces and then I'm going to take a piece of cheese. I don't know about you, but I do not like to eat banana and cheese together. I think that's sort of disgusting.
then turkey. Now turkey and cheese go together, but turkey and banana, ugh, I don't think that sounds good at all. And then I have some mozzarella cheese, which again, I like cheese, but I don't like all this stuff in one time. And then I thought I could top it all off with some peanut butter. So hold on just a second. Here, I'm gonna mix it up and I'm gonna show you what it looks like and then I'm gonna put this nice big bite in my mouth. I'm gonna prove to you it's all combined. See, there's my turkey and my cheese and my banana and my peanut butter. <laughs> I want to see if you can make your stuff nastier than mine. All right, here goes a nice big bite. It's a little weird with the turkey and the peanut butter, but you know, not too bad. <laughs> Thanks for joining in Amped this week. Send in your pictures and your videos. You're going to need to make your challenge way more nastier than mine. Have a great week.